Seattle Seahawks and Coach Erickson widening a rave of emotion as they come in to play the Oakland Raiders here at the sold out kingdom in Seattle. Jeff George has been sensational as a Raider passing the ball and Napoleon Kaufman was beyond sensational running it last week. 40 year old Warren Moon has stabilized the Seattle offense and Cortez Kennedy a six time pro bowler anchors the defense. Running back that's Derek Fender on third down and five. Opening drive George backpedaling stands in there get him back at the 16 yard line. Sam Adams. Warren Moon sets his team on first down and ten. Swings it out. Take it in. Broussard breaks it on the far side. Albert Lewis, a 15 year veteran. Warren Moon on first and ten. Triggers his throw and threads it right into his tight end, Kylester Crumpler. Double tight end formation. And they go to the run of the penalty marker, continues. Broussard bangs off a tackle, then turns it outside, and Broussard. Strong for about a five yard gain. Yeah, Strong doing a good job getting the step on the linebacker as Moon again puts it up on third down, swings it out. This is Broussard making people miss. James Trapp missed him, and Broussard with a stutter step move down the near sideline. Play doesn't go, they'll have to try the field goal. Three, four wide receivers set now. Lone back is Broussard. He gets the ball, and Broussard is stopped by the Raiders as their defense really tightens up. This will be a 21 yard attempt. But he spins up and through the middle. With the Giants, or with the Jets, and my pick would be Jim Fossil. I'd vote for him. He's done a terrific job. They were leading the last week's check. Here is a throw to Tim Brown, his first catch of the day. And that's what they did there. Rarely do you see two teams as emotionally charged as these two teams were when we met with them yesterday. They're looking at this almost like a playoff game. Here's a breakaway run, Napoleon Kaufman. The race is out, and he's going to win it. Into the end zone goes Napoleon Kaufman, and the Raiders take the lead. But there is a penalty marker down. Offsides by the defense. Well, it goes. Penalty has declined. Touchdown. Touchdown, Raiders. Look at the 100 yard rushers, what the averages are for the season. Terrell Davis, who John Elway says is the reason this is the best Bronco team he's ever played on. He's not in the lineup. No, he's not in the lineup. He was earlier. Here's a big play in the backfield. Broussard. Pinkert was a key factor in the win over the Broncos last week. He had 12 tackles for the Raiders. Throw by Moon. Balls in the air. Might have been picked. It was. And the interception, the Raiders get the ball. Lorenzo Lynch made a play on the ball after it was tipped. Let's see the play again on second down. Jeff George stands in. They come with a four man rush. He takes a look, makes the throw, speeding towards the end zone, and going in is James Jett with his seventh touchdown of the season. So Jeff George gets a play call to throw the ball, and into the end zone the play goes a 13 yard touchdown. Watched the game films and counted every one, and they hit him 20 times in that game. 20 hits, he said he got. Look at that on by Moon, right on target. There's a flag coming in here because the defender was not looking back. Galloway runs right by him right there, has about two steps on him, and Carter's got to. <laughs> what happens right there is the ball is underthrown. A lot of times when the ball is underthrown. Warren Moon from the shotgun. All out blitz. He swings it out, gets his man, Broussard, but he did not get the first down. Joe Bugle thinks the whole thing's swinging back to the days when teams ran the ball. They see all these different gimmick defenses, and that's when teams start to run again. That's right. 40 yard field goal. Tom Peterson's two for two, and the Seahawks inch closer, down by eight. It's a great scene. Jeff George play fakes. He throws and gets an open man. Look at the catch by Tim Brown. They hold to a 14 to 6 lead. George again play faking. Downfield he goes. Tim Brown again running free in the secondary. Tim Brown with his third catch for 45 yards. Again the play fake. George steps in. Home run ball. Man is there. James Jett, the fastest Raider, couldn't quite get to it. They like to do that. They want to go for the home run. But yeah, the defense has been buying the play fakes when he takes the runner and throws. Now they do run the ball, and look at Napoleon Kaufman run again. One guy he didn't take out was Wisniewski, who's blocking <laughs> on the other side. 
Wiz versus Tiz. Now the 12th man kicks in as Jeff George does a checkoff, changes the play. Here's a blitz. Chad Brown's coming. George firing on the run does well just to get the ball away. But uh, last week against the Rams, Chris Warren was the third guy to enter the game. He's in the backfield now, Chris Warren, as Warren Moon stands in, makes a throw, and what a beautifully thrown ball and catch by Brian Blaze. For all these years, Warren Moon has demonstrated all three attributes of a top passer. Top passers in the history of the league as Jerry Galloway is on the run. A foot race is on. Eric Turner trying to court him up. They finally get him, but not till he gets down to the 30-yard line. We talked yesterday, Jim, also about how athletic the veteran corners are for the Raiders. The great feet they have. Very tough to make a move out of and beat him. As Moon stands in, throws near side. And he throw. Well done. The ball is taken in at the 18-yard line by Joey Galloway. On first down, Moon stands in. Throws it. Gets his man. Running back, Chris Warren. Head down. He takes on the tackler. And it is a first down. First and goal at the 8-yard line. Down by eight, Moon faces the blitz, makes the throw, it's knocked around and almost picked off. Heading up on a third down and goal play. His team trailing the Raiders by eight points, 14 to six. Moon fires, gets his man, touchdown. Brian Blades. As Warren Moon, just before he was hit and hard, threads a tight spiral, the only place he could put it to get a completion, and it's good for six. Now they've come back to win four of their last five. And if this play hits, they will tie the Raiders at 14 all. Warren Moon takes a look against the blitz. He throws. It's not close. The defense was all over. I think they got a legit chance at the playoffs. They've got to win this one. Trying to build their lead. There is a sack. As that time, Jeff George, who's done so well, play faking, faking the hand up to a runner, then throwing this time. Lincoln Kennedy of the Raiders, one of the pass blockers, as the handoff goes. And it's Derek Fenner running with the ball. It's the ball on the field, it goes out of bounds. But Seattle's about to get the ball. Harris is back. Aragoose punts an end over end punt. Sometimes tough to feel. Harris does it nicely and then breaks it open on the far side and gets to midfield. Freeze, but they're going to stay with Moon when he does come back. Winning four of their last five. Here's a swing pass and Chris Warren to the far side. Now they bring a tight end in motion. As Moon stands in, here comes the rush. The heat is on and Warren Moon fires and makes a connection downfield. Coming up with the ball is James McNutt. He's not done. He's going in. It's a touchdown for the Seahawks. Receiver set and I back formation as the Seahawks after much reflection two timeouts one by each side go for two. Moon throws it is incomplete. Bob Fredrickson was uh, coming hard on the play putting pressure on. They have that one open deep play that George had hit over through to Jet. He's looking deep right now. He throws down the field and hits Tim Brown. And Brown is on the run all the way out to the 48 yard line. 24 yard gain on the play on the reception by Brown. His fourth catch. He has 69 receiving yards today. Here's a side on fireball on the rising young star and tight end, Ricky Dudley. Well behind 14 to 3, now lead 18 14. And this is a computer rendition of what the beautiful new stadium for the Seahawks will be like when it's constructed. Good looking place. They're going to put it right where the Kingdom is now. John. Yeah, they're going to implode the building we're in. <laughs> you know they've Hopefully got the new, today. Yeah, they've got the new baseball stadium going up right next door too. That's under construction right now. He goes out to the left. He is the slot back, second receiver in on the top of the screen. On third, a long seven. He could be the guy. George takes a look at him, steps up, shuffles the ball to Fenner, and again the Seahawks defense slams the door. Be the longest for him. Aragus is the holder. Ford gets into it nicely, throws the ball hard and true and right down the middle. So, an official call now that has been made in the fastest uh, 
Seahawk Galloway to the lower portion of the screen. They now apparently are going to go to the run again as they do. The Raiders led at 1.14 to 3. Coming back with two quick touchdowns after they trailed 3 0. Raiders ready to take a shot. Fires near side but comes in low. Looking at Galloway. The ball was tipped and running down the field is Lyle Washington. It's a live play and Washington goes in. And the signal is touchdown. The ball was tipped up, and Lionel Washington comes up with it. Well, you talk about a turnaround right there. Wow. Washington's covering him, got excellent coverage. Galloway makes an out cut right there, is open. The ball must have hit his foot. I thought it hit the ground. Good alertness there by Washington. But there it is, hits his ankle. Hey, Ronaldo, the Brazilian soccer player, couldn't do that. <laughs> Nothing to it, Coach. The guy just has to kick it with his heel. Not got it. Jeff George takes a look at the end zone. Fires. Got a man! Tim Brown! George, just before he went down, lost the ball, and Tim Brown is there to take it in, and the Raiders on a spectacular defensive play. Traded by the Raiders, but once the trading deadline passed and he was still with the Raiders, he became a very happy camper. He's glad he's back with the Raiders. Look at this. Good football. Long ball, James Jack. Touchdown Raiders. They fake the reverse, and Jeff George fires a bullet 60 yards into the end zone. It was 49 yards in the line of scrimmage. You like touchdowns, this is the place to be as Jeff George and James Jett combined again, and now a errant snap. The ball is taken away. No play. Mitchell has whistled it dead. We're coming near the end of the first half. Moon stands in, fires long. He's got a man speeding towards the ball, and coming down with it is James McKnight. And a super play for the Seahawks to the 32-yard line. If he was any closer, we'd have to jump on his back. I mean, he was with him stride for stride, but it was a terrific throw by Moon. It's back to Chris Warren. Coming back. Warren's inside the 20. And the Seahawks in need of a touchdown, down 31 to 18. Challenging. Moon fires. He's got Galloway. Touchdown. Only perfect. Been intercepted twice. Two tip, one a tip handball, one a tip football. Off the heel of the shoe of Galloway led to 15 Raider points. And now the Seahawks are right back in it. Desmond Howard kicks off with the Raiders in the lead 31 to 25. There he goes. Leaping people like an Olympic hurdler. And he is out to the 47 yard line. First and 10 Raiders, they lead by six. Out of the sprinter's block. And with all that strength we talked about, that 425 pound bench breath, he can make great tackles. Jeff George looking for a deep ball. Throws downfield. He gets that tight end. Ricky Dudley, both hands on the ball, and Dudley turns up field. The lead, 31 25. Third quarter. Hand up Napoleon Kaufman. If they have a son, I'd offer him a scholarship. Oh, right now. Throwing a catch, and the ball comes in low, and it's taken. Is it a legit catch? It looks like it is. Here's a throw, and unable to get to the ball. Challenge all of Marinero's rushing records at Cornell. Levitt's running in the end zone again. Here's a throw, and is there a flag? There is not. The coverage is ruled good. Splits and a whole lot more. Cole Ford, who hit a personal best 53-yard field goal today. It's a 22-yarder, and it's a 34-25 game Raiders. Affected the team. Moon fires over the middle. He's got Carlester Trumpler. And he's down to the 45-yard line. That's the first team to shut down Terrell Davis or to that level all year. He's averaging 123 yards rushing the game. Here's a throw and a catch as the ball is taken in by Blades. He popped it up, but they're going to rule it down. That looks like another one of those carom plays. That brings up third down for the Seattle Seahawks. They need three at the 38-yard line of the Raiders. Moon stands in, throws a tight spiral to Galloway. Galloway still working. 
looking at it is down to the 28 yard line. An ASC West shootout of the sold out Pink Dome in Seattle. Don Crookie with Jim Mora. As Warren Moon looks to put it up again. Lofting a timing throw. Galloway's there. Touchdown, Seahawks. Absolutely perfect. 28 yards. The highlight reel continues. Napoleon Kaufman has now run 16 times for 102 yards. 55 of those came early in the game on his touchdown run. George in trouble. Swept under at the 15. It'll be third and 10. Sam Adams, number 98. And we'll be right back after these messages from your local station. Well, it's tough to call signals as the 12th man kicks in. The loudest stadium in the NFL. Aragoos hits a beauty downfield, the punt. Drives Ronnie Harris to his 42. Up the middle he goes, and then he is taken down by Lorenzo Lynch on a knockout tackle. What a weekend and what a World Series coming up next. The ultimate game seven of the 97 World Series. The Indians and the Marlins here on NBC. Throw and a catch. This is Brian Blades down to the 21 yard line. Number one and Dan Fox, the former Charger great, not far behind. Boone on third down. Jester McLaughlin came busting through again. At the 28-yard line, it'll be a 38-yard field goal attempt by Tom Peterson. It'll give the Seahawks the lead if it's good, and it is. So the Seahawks rally from behind again. It's 35-34. Seattle kicks off, and we come back. There you go. Must scream TV. There's some guys ready for Halloween. And we're ready for more big plays. We've had him all afternoon as Jeff George and the Raiders down by one. George with a great fake. Fires the ball downfield. Tim Brown with another spectacular catch. George eludes the rush. He has an open man. Ricky Dudley, look at the hit. An absolute blast delivered by Darrell Williams. And Ricky Dudley, well, he's a tough guy, bounces right up. Hoffman looking for room to go, comes near side and turns the corner and almost a penalty there as they went high to the head to bring him down. He's complaining about it. Well, you're not going to try to get it all in one play. You got two downs to get 19 yards. Don't try to get it all in one play. Another blitz. George lets it rip. Dudley's going for it. Had the ball and lost it. It was knocked away as he was coming down by Sean Springs, who was his teammate at Ohio State. Third down, and the Raiders need 19. They're only one of eight converting third downs today, despite all those points. And Jeff George, under a big rush, has nowhere to go. A one-point game. Seattle leading the Raiders 35-34. Warren Moon wants a lot. He's got Galloway. He's open. Galloway's down to the 24-yard line. So perhaps, Jim, when the Raiders might have been thinking about running. Seattle and Oakland and San Diego all in the hunt. So a, a second and almost 11. Boom. Slant catch. Gets his guy. Again, a spread formation. Seahawks. Warren Moon starts to roll against the blitz. Fires to the end zone. Comes in high. And, and the Raiders come to bat. 25-yard field goal is pounded through. So Peterson has delivered time and again. It's a 38-34 game in Seattle. Well, the penalty goes, and the Raiders have a first down as they trail by four with 7.08 to play. Jeff George steps up. He's got to let it rip. He's hit from behind. It's a live ball. Seahawks have it. Dean Wells comes up with the ball, the middle linebacker. The Seahawks are going to run the ball somehow and try to get the clap. No, they're going to go fire it again. Here's a throw in the flat. It is Warren. And 
he breaks a big play. He's ahead for a gain of 11 yards and a first down. Seattle a uh, seven point lead. They're going for the touch and they've got the ball inside the five yard line. It's the first and goal and inside the two. Moon on third down triggers a throw. It's caught. It is no signal. Gonna think about it. Touchdown. They show us both concurring as they both got together with what they saw. His third to Joey Galloway. You know, you can talk all you want about all the acquisitions the Seahawks made in the offseason to improve their defensive football team, and they certainly did that. But in my opinion, the key guy to this Seahawks football team these last five, six games has been this guy, number one, Warren Moon. He throws it exactly where it has to be thrown, the only place it can't be, de be defended. That scored two quick touchdowns to take a 14-3 lead. The lead's gone back and forth. George stands in, he makes a throw and a catch. Dudley, the tight end, and he's out to the 44-yard line. Wildly and successful plays coming up now with a minute and 53 seconds to go. George stands in, here comes the rush. He throws and makes a completion to Harvey Williams. First time that he's touched the ball all day and Williams gets out of bounds. That's Tim Brown in motion, trying to change the coverage. Jeff George stands in, Sinclair's got him. Sidearm ball. Is it caught? Ruled it complete. He's been a pro bowler. Fourth down for the Raiders. They need one for first down. They're down by 11. I don't know, it's about as close as you can get. If he got there, it's gonna be by the nose of the ball. People don't appreciate how tough it is to win in this league and, and the stress on a head coach. Well, didn't yes, make sir. it, didn't make it. Raiders didn't get there. So the Seahawks take over the ball and take over the game. As Dennis Erickson, as Paul Allen, the new owner. Seahawks who prevail in an AFC West shootout, a real highlight reel of the game. Just phenomenal big plays. Some of the most bizarre things we've ever seen, like the ball that caromed off Joey Galloway's foot into the arms of defensive back Lionel Washington, which he ran in for a touchdown. But that wasn't enough for the Raiders, as the winner is Seattle, 45 to 34. Now for Jim Mora, this is Don Crickey. As we go to New York, where Greg Gumbel is standing back.